I'm very excited because in this video, I want to show off something that you can only do in DaVinci Resolve. And what I specifically want to show off, I think I've seen one other person on the internet talk about. I've seen some other people talk about like the related technology and functionality. Um, but this is like a new frontier in some of like this cool video stuff that we all do. And this video, I just want to get out there like for exposure. I want people talking about it, but this won't be a giant specific how to. I just want to let everyone know that Resolve can do this really, really cool thing. And I'm going to show it off um, with this. I've got a Twitch stream up in a browser. This is a tournament for Dota, but I pulled this up because it does have this convenient clock right at the top. You'll see this. Uh, we're just past like six minutes in this thing. Okay, this is pretty cool. We've got this gameplay. Plasma field. It's not going to grab him. Yeah, the phase boost. It's not going to grab him. He gets away. And if I look at this gameplay, we're what? I like 640 right now. He had a bit of a slower one. I can pause it here, open up Resolve, and that same gameplay is there. Some time to get the, the audio is there. And if we zoom in even, let's go back and forth. Live, we're at what, like just past seven minutes in Resolve. We are a few seconds, we're about to seven minutes. So with a few seconds delay, we're watching this stream live here, but it's also inside Resolve. And not only that, while I'm watching this, if I set an endpoint, keep watching till something exciting happens. Oh, hey, look, they're gonna get this kill. Boom, maybe. Yes, <laughs> set an out point, drop that in my timeline, and now that clip with audio Four, zero, one. All five. instantly in my timeline, I could apply other uh, effects, titles, cut it down however I want, render that out, and at any time, click back on this clip and make sure I am caught up, start playing again, and I am back watching um, functionally the live stream with a little bit of a delay. If I could grab another clip at any time, catch up, oh, it's a big fight. Drop it, drop it on the timeline. Boom. I am live editing a random live stream that I am pulling it. I'm not getting any sort of feed directly from this broadcast. I'm watching this stream like any viewer would, but I'm also editing it instantly in Resolve. And the reason I can do this now is because of this little guy over here. This is an ATEM Mini Pro. Um, I have the ISO model but I'm pretty sure the uh, minimum you need is just the base ATEM Mini Pro. It doesn't need to be the Pro. I've plugged a Chromecast into that and that's where this feed is coming. I am only using one input, but I'm actually Chromecasting from my phone. I'm sending it to this like Twitch feed of this Twitch channel. This ATEM Mini Pro is recording that feed to this little flash drive. And then because this is the Pro, it's connected to my local network and my computer with Resolve recognizes that as network attached storage. And as soon as I press record, I can open that storage and I can drag in that file as it's being written. And you'll see in Resolve, I have this little icon on that file. And then if I preview that and just come to the end and I watch that, you'll see it will grow as as it is playing and it's still going this feed is still live and i am still pulling it into resolve constantly i could pull another clip i could keep editing now for some people this is the most exciting thing ever for some people they're like okay but it's just like a, a live stream what's going on this technology is also expanding into some of the cool stuff that black magic design is doing with cameras including their camera apps for both uh, iphone and android they just brought this to Android, but now on either of the app and a few select cameras, as soon as you start recording a clip, if you have uh, that camera or that app connected to your DaVinci Resolve or Blackmagic Cloud account, and you are in that cloud project, you will see a file pop up as soon as it is generating the proxy media for that clip that is still being recorded, and you will be able to start editing that clip as it is being recorded. On believable ramifications for a lot of cool niche areas of production, especially as this feature is also on some of these larger high-end cameras. Event production, you can have cameras in the field or even like people with their iPhones out in the field covering an event and just all those clips instantly coming into an editor. If you're working for like a Twitch streamer or anyone else who streams live online, all of a sudden this is the easiest way to uh, pull clips or edit highlights as that stream is going. You don't need to wait until a stream is done and then grab a long multi-hour VOD and start watching that back through. You can pull highlights as it's live. 
I think for those in-house teams of those creators or like news orgs or whoever, the relatively low barrier of entry is super exciting for this, for this new cool like feature. But it is a legitimate barrier to entry. Right now, you need at least the ATEM Mini Pro model, which uh, base retail is $300, or um, one of their HyperDeck recorders, but even like the entry level for that like is more than the ATEM Mini, and the ATEM Mini uh, Pro is also like flexible. It can do like it's other stuff. It's also a mixer and it can stream on its own and other stuff. It just also does this really cool thing. Blackmagic is absolutely doing some extra funky stuff behind the scenes to make it work this well. Like the latency is very impressive. And even the ability of Resolve to read a file as it's being written, I, I don't understand that. I thought computers worked different than that. I thought that was a thing you just didn't do. But they added some fun stuff in this A10 Mini Pro line and in their HyperDex, and then both in their camera apps and full-scale production cameras. Even outside of this like live editing, the, the cloud workflow they're building, both with their camera apps and full production cameras, just being able to sync uh, either proxy or full media, like as you're still shooting out in the field. I think people across the spectrum of production will really dive into this. Like I said, event coverage, massive. But even up to something like film production, you can have people uh, cutting dailies or editing like selects as you're shooting. If you hired an editor, you can get him to work faster than ever. I did just pull this into a normal editing workflow, but Resolve also added in those like replay features. The workflow for doing that in any sort of live situation would need to be different. Oh, but I also wanted to say, um, yes, I just pulled in like a normal stream here, but Blackmagic also has that ATEM stream bridge. So if you were working directly with someone like a Twitch streamer and you wanted the most quality, maybe the best latency, you could send a stream directly from whatever content creator uh, is sending the stream out to the web. They could send you a dedicated feed using that ATEM stream bridge and you know save yourself latency there too you might be thinking of other cool use cases if you do absolutely let me know but one I just wanted to talk about this really cool thing I found with DaVinci Resolve you can live edit anything you're watching or streaming or a news event or footage from your friend recording out in the field you can get footage into Resolve faster than ever and get it edited, chopped up, titles, effects, everything. You can use the integration with YouTube to export right to YouTube from Resolve as well. Your turnaround times on different social media could be incredible. And so this was just me talking about it. Um, you gotta let me know if this is not your kind of vibe at all, because this is super cool, especially for some of like the streaming or gaming circles I run in or would like to run in, I don't know. If you want any more specific info, you gotta let me know. Um, if you're a creator that would love to, you know, build up this sort of own system for yourself or your editors, you can reach out to me separately and then we'll see if we can do something cool. I don't know, I think this is cool. If you think it's cool, you gotta let me know it's cool. That's what the comments are for. Thanks for watching. I think like, yeah, that's just, it's cool. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.